All right, y'all. We're working on the 63 rack today. Um, so the hydraulics are installed. It's fully functioning and everything. Um, here's the setup, how it came out. Took me a couple of years to get all the parts ready. Those Presto light motors, uh, the zigzag slowdowns, uh, those ADEX especially, man, those are hot. Expensive to get, hard to get if you could find it. Um, batteries, I got I got it all in pieces, little by little. But um, took the airbag stuff out and I put all the, the hydraulics. Well, the car wasn't, when I fully restored it, I did a fully wrapped frame. I did the whole frame fully wrapped um, and I just ended up putting airbags on it. Don't ask why. Um, I don't know. I thought it was the same, but let me tell you, it's not the same. Um, so pretty much I had to take all the suspension out, all my stock suspension, and I had to get it reinforced. That's a sway, it's a sway bar that I'm gonna install also. But um, the top arms are fully fully wrapped, extended one inch. The bottom arms are extended. I mean, it's ready, man. It's it's cut. Cylinders are, are in there. It's fully functioning. The only thing is I already had an adjustable um, uh, yoke. The rear yoke goes to the rear end because of the up and down from the airbags. But now with the hydraulics, the lockup is really high. Before I used to go only up to like, probably like about half of the knockoff. So now the lockup is pretty much up to the white wall. So that being said, it bent my, my drive shaft. So this is the, the new one, well, repaired one. I got it repaired at um, General Drive Shaft in Monrovia. Uh, they do really good stuff. He balanced it for me and everything. So now we gotta notch the frame. So pretty much, we're going to notch it like this. I got this uh, two inch hole saw. And if you come with me, bear with me. I'm going under the car now. So pretty much that's where the rear end connects to uh, the drive shaft. And then, so this, it was hitting right here. So all I did was get the center of the bottom of the frame, centered it, then I measured two inches from here back, and then center to center, and then I'm gonna make a hole with the hole saw I already started. Once it's cut, I'll just cut the edges, cut the edge, and now my, my drive shaft will be able to hang lower without getting damaged. So now since I'm already down here, I went ahead and um, I already marked the holes for the uh, that south side sway bar that I have down there. So you see it's already marked, measured it. All I did was put some clamps, some C clamps like this. Put that SS sway bar, clamped it down on both ends. And um, yeah, that was it. So pretty much now is just getting that hole through, notching it and I would be ready for the streets. So, yeah. So again, all the stock suspension for this SS sway bar, these mount up right here at the end. Like this. But since these are not fully wrapped for hydraulics, I had to take them out, put some fully wrapped ones. So all this front suspension, rear suspension, uh, all of that is gonna be for sale. If you guys wanna want it, it's low miles. I have like about 1500 miles on it. All brandy bushings, powder coated. They're just dirty, but yeah. If you guys are interested in that one, let me know. So yeah, super excited. Really happy with the whole, uh, we actually cut it here at my house. 
uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Rob. He's on IG, uh, Dina Deuce. He did the do. I built the, all that pump, pump set up, and he cut it out for me. Good guy, good worker. What's up, my boy? Got that little help right here. He's already taking measurements. How much is the lockup, huh? The lockup is good? Yeah? Yeah? All right. <laughs> All right. We're going to get back to work. Just wanted to get a little video of the progress on the 63 rag build. But that's it. Let's get to it, guys. I'll post another video later. How to install uh this south side sway bar that i got um pretty much um well, i'm gonna make the video here and then i'll go underneath the car it's kind of hard to explain all of this with one hand underneath under the under the car and stuff but pretty much you just get put your sway bar underneath there and then you put these clamps on well obviously uh it has to be fully wrapped your trailing arms have to be fully wrapped because that's how you're going to bolt. You're, that's how you're going to screw. You're going to tap and drill into the arm here to put these uh, through these mounting holes. But pretty much all I did was measure from the frame down and then you can adjust it. However, if you want to make it hang lower or or be more in towards the rear end, it's it's all up to you. It's personal preference. I think I measured from there to to here. I think I measured uh, 18 inches, something like that. So pretty much you just align it, make sure they're both they're both even. Uh, if you like it, once you like it, once you do that, this is what you're gonna need. You just need a, a center punch, a pretty thick one, and then you need a 5 16 and then you're gonna need this uh, a 3 8 16 tap. So with this center punch, once you mark everything on the rear end and it's on, all you do is slide this mother trucker in there, right in the center, trying to put it as level as you can, smack it, and it's going to be your center punch on all four, you know, in there too. So, which I already done that, that's already completed. Uh, but you might need I already started tapping that one I already drilled that one but uh pretty much you're just gonna drill it out oh and you're gonna need like a pilot a pilot hole to start but pretty much you just drill this bitch you start with a pilot and just drill it
Now that's your pilot hole. Once you do your pilot hole, you're just gonna do, you're gonna move over to your, to your 5 sixteenths. So you drill that one out. And then my tap, my punch for the second one is down here somewhere. Then you're just gonna come here after you already made your punch. And then you, then after you drill with your, your 5 sixteenths, you're gonna drill it in there. And then pretty much all we gotta do is just tap it. Just keep tapping it all the way through. Obviously this will be a lot easier if you have the trailing arms off the car, but I think you have to do it like this. There's no other way. How are you gonna align it? How are you gonna adjust it to where you want it, you know? So once this bitch is on, you know, it's a little more work, but you'll be able to put it exactly where you want it. So pretty much this one's done. I gotta install the pilot holes. Sorry, drill out the pilot holes for the back. And for that side, the two lower ones, I just have to lift up the car a little more. But pretty much that's it. It's drilled, ready. So, yeah. So you need, it's gonna look fucking badass though.